I think if you, and it's, it's as simple as it sounds, it's as simple as it is. If you tell the truth, if you surround the story with the truth, then you can't go wrong with the ethics. And, and to that case, I mean, I, I, I'll, I think some of the first clips will be uh, uh, Tuskegee Airmen. And uh, we'll introduce kind of the character and kind of the story. And one of the, one of the problems there, one of the, the, the themes, I think, was that, and it was very easy, and I constantly had to pull back to producers, uh, and even, even the studio, in a sense, is, is you can't make all the white people evil. You can't make all the black people saints. That's not people. That's not real. That's not how it, how it was. And I think it helps when you're dealing with, with uh, a true story because then you have a lot of help from the truth. Your studio, your producers, everyone will back off and say, okay, well, we can't like, mess with that because he says that's true. Uh, besides it making good sense and it, uh, and it fleshing out characters and it making a story, making it real for your audience. Uh, I mean, it's, and that's something that you find that I've found in doing race-based kinds of pieces is that you, if, as long as you resist the temptation, and even, even to the point, sometimes it's, it's very difficult because I've come across stories, I've done stories where essentially everybody, they were black and white, not color, but, but in terms of, of their, their, their attitude, where for some reason, everybody, in, at least in this particular scene, everybody, all the white people were evil, you know, twirling mustaches, and all the black folks were like saints. And it's like, I, I don't want to do this. I can't, you know, this, this doesn't ring true. It may have been true in the scene, which is really interesting. It may have been true in reality, actually. But it doesn't, it feels false. And how it could be produced, I mean, once you start layering on, you know, you get a director who wants to sort of pile it on. Uh, and you get actors who want to pile on and make themselves even, even more saintly, you know, or more evil. Then suddenly, this piece that, that started out as as a as you know as a wonderful slice of, of reality, you know, becomes a caricature. And it's very easy to do when you when you're dealing with. Uh, it's not really just race based pieces, but especially because of again because of the the sensitivity with the issue uh, is that there is, a, and I find this a lot from writers of people of color, not just black writers, but, but generally writers from, from classes that have been underrepresented <laughs> in the media, is that we've got this one shot to do this story and we're gonna go for it. You know, and, and all the evils done, my folks, you know, I'm gonna make right in this movie. <laughs> and it, and it, show, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And I understand the pressure, I understand the, the, the the anxiety and the, the sense that this is, you know, this is the only way to redress. You know, we've had 200 years of this, and now this is my one shot. I've got 120 pages to, to, you know, to make everything right. But it doesn't fly. It doesn't. It, it won't work. And I think overall, you, you do the piece of disservice, uh, and 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 you won't get the, the the veracity from the piece that you hope to get. You know, nor will you get the response from the audience because something will shut off, something will click off in the audience, and they'll say, "Well, this is BS," you know, or I just, you know, I'm, I'm watching a cartoon, or people don't think that way, or I don't know anybody who who actually does that. Uh, so, you know, once you once you shape the reality, I think uh, I think you're in good shape. <laughs>